And while we brace for another round of lake effect snow, city officials here in Buffalo are going over their response to last week's epic storm. What went right, because a lot did, and what went wrong. They're looking at that as well, from problems with the city's new GPS plow tracker to complaints about snow removal on side streets and even speed bumps. Tonight, we're following up on all of this for you as I ask city officials how they plan to fix some of these hiccups moving forward. Yeah, it was, it was really bad. Pastor Grady Thompson says during the recent storm, it took days for plows to reach his street in South Buffalo. He and other residents hope the response time is better next time. We couldn't get back home. We, people, some of my neighbors were stuck, right? They work at the hospital. They got stuck there overnight. How was your area? Um, it was a little bit like a little bit of a war zone. City officials say despite complaints, a lot of things went right. Mayor Byron Brown says crews worked around the clock and he also credits the state for its early support that he says allowed them to clear side streets quicker. Getting into the residentials more quickly uh, in this storm might not have been noticed by the residents because you had snowfall at three, four, five uh, inches an hour. So as soon as you get in, that street is covered again. We had private contractors, snow removal contractors retained before the snow hit. They were ready to go day one. Department of Public Works Commissioner Nathan Martin agrees crews did the best they could, but he's also looking at ways to improve operations. We got there faster. Okay, how can we improve that next time? Um, is it a different approach? Is it a different um, type of equipment that potentially is, is used in some cases? So we're going to look at, at that specifically. City leaders say they're also working to fix issues with the GPS system and provide updated information on snow removal operations to the community. The system is a functional system. We're reviewing it. Um, it did report data. Was it actually accurate? Not all of it. 100% is the goal, obviously, by the next storm. Officials say residents and business owners can also make things easier. While we did have over 175 mini tows, most residents followed the guidance that we put out. All of that helped tremendously in plowing and hauling away snow. There were um, uh, some tickets for not plowing sidewalks. Mayor Brown also says people need to be reasonable and understand what crews are dealing with. If it's historic snowfall with driving bans, and travel advisories and a situation where people aren't supposed to be driving anyway, then the expectation of having uh, side streets completely cleared when snow is falling at three, four, and five inches an hour is not reasonable. Obviously, we live in a world where we want you know, grat instant gratification, but I really honestly think that um, they did all that they could with, with the amount of snow. And city officials say the expected total cost for the storm for the city is $2.3 million, and they're working to get FEMA reimbursement as quickly as possible. But the mayor says that would only cover about 75%. He also says during the storm, the city received more than 4,000 calls from residents, many who needed to leave their homes for things like chemotherapy and dialysis. He says all of those needs were met.